hello everyone thank you for stopping on my channel so we have started working on our laravel fraud for you project and this is going to be the second video so here what we are going to do is we are going to start creating the database structure and filling up the migrations and then making the fields available in the models so let's get into it here i am on the uh, settings migration that we created in the previous video so what we are going to add to these so one thing we can do is we can add key and value so it's going to be like the dynamic and then we can call that um, in the views and everywhere we need that and the second approach to this is going to be like creating a separate field for every um, everything we need so in the settings like if i have my, my name or my username it's going to be i think the get, uh, github or a link with the username actually so uh, the second approach is to create a separate field for everything we need so this is what we, i'm gonna follow here uh, and i'm gonna add separate field for everything uh, that is required so the first thing first is the username and then name and then your title and then your image then your links social links or um, work links or whatever links that you have and um, the same links are available right here so um, let's add them so i'm gonna create uh, settings let's say username we're gonna create uh, all the fields nullable so no matter you provide it or not it's gonna be like fine then we have the name then we have the title and then we have the uh, let's call it um, installing um, link done actually underscore url let's call it this way then we have not github then we have github github url then we have install url maybe we can add the um twitter and more as well but we are going to follow the template that is um install url uh we're going to follow the template which is this one so let's stick with that and after that uh, we can uh, add uh, this is a profile photo right and i guess these are two photos those not one photo uh, which is changing automatically or this is a gift actually so maybe we can add a, a gift as well you can design it anywhere and you can place them right here so let's create a field for that So let's call it um, hero gift and for the administrator side as you're going to be in, in my plan is to use the filament so it's going to be like automatic uh, automatic stuff it's going to be easy very easy so i guess that is it um if we need anything else we're gonna like um, like be a dynamic kind of things so like we can update it anytime we want let's go to the project and for the project uh, let's analyze that let's look at this one so you can see um, they have one image from the whole project and then they have the title then the url and the source as well sources uh, get up for, uh, all the time and then we have the keywords so these are the keywords and then there is the descriptions so let's add them another table string type title nullable and image or photo then url and then um, keywords then descriptions it's gonna be long text so you can pass as many con content as you want like you want to provide that is a the like descriptions so this is gonna be text so let's if you want to provide more uh, like more keywords or something like that like you can see here um, or we can leave that as a string as well because the projects have only limited keywords and maybe it's gonna work but you can customize this if you want okay after that we have a text talk so as i mentioned before we will have um, string we will have the text talk name url so the url is nullable no matter you are provided or not it's gonna work and for the icons let me think 
what we can do so if these are images like png files then that is fine we can like yeah for uh, find them um i think we can upload cs cs csv um, svg sorry files as well so i'm gonna make um field for that another possibility is like um use some kind of font awesome icon or something like that and you provide the icon name it's gonna pick that but i guess the uh, this approach is gonna be fine like make an image field and it's gonna choose that uh, whenever you are adding a tech stock tick stock and maybe we can like seed some of them so that it's gonna be easy like every level for knows html css and git and vs code and stuff like that some of them are pretty easy and some of them are gonna be like a uh, specialized one like python i know python you might know i don't know java much uh, maybe i don't know every uh, what is it you know see i don't know about these firebase and stuff like that uh, so let's uh what we have then we have about page so for the about part um you can see here they have the is this dynamic like we can make this timeline this is a like created page right so i guess they are forwarding the pronunciation and location and languages and uh, different information about that so and this is the same image right so let's add the pronouns maybe that is not required but for the sake of lgbtq let's add that so pronouns and after that oh, we have location maybe that is the like address or something like that but they call it location we're gonna um, go with that then language is gonna be like mm, comma separated languages after that they have beer fuffy um they have provided a link to that as well but um maybe we can maybe we can call it like fit animal animal fit so let's google that uh, maybe fit animal is gonna be like the best name maybe I don't know so fit underscore animal and after that we have education so uh, we will do something like um, if you don't want to provide like let's say there might be developers that do not have then any education they are self taught developers so we're gonna provide a boolean field in the administrative uh, administration side so if you feel like make that um, true then which means you have done some education otherwise you haven't then you have some experience otherwise you don't have so this is gonna like work uh hey let's call it this way education have education then this is a boolean boolean and uh, default is gonna be default default actually true and then um if you have done some education then what's the highest degree you have so far so this is the location and achievements uh, in their education maybe so bs in computer science and then location so maybe we can call it a education underscore degree and then education underscore location maybe and then here you can see this is a list right so i'm going to create a uh, field with name achievement and this is going to be like you can provide a list of achievements you uh, you have achieved so far achievements and oh this is not a boolean this is a string and default as you know, let's do not provide any default and these are going to be enabled so that uh, if you like uncheck this I mean this is paused then these are going to be enabled I mean you don't have to fill them like you do not have any form of education this is what i mean um nullable string type education degree maybe the name the names you may, you might not agree with the name na naming conventionally provided but uh, if you want you can customize that this is uh achievements is nullable education achievements maybe i can i, I can call that underscore achievements okay uh, and after that um, we have experience 
so has experience and then has experience and then like just like that you can see here the place where you have done the experience this person have done the experience in two places so maybe we can create another table for that you know like they have all the 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 task that were provided for this person and you can see automation and then some descriptions about that so you know what let's create another table for that so php addition uh, make model let's call it experience let's copy the name sir experience take m for migration in serial ms s for serial actually and after that we have text talk and contact we already have this uh, you can see here they have um, in the settings you know we provided some of them but they have more more than that like core fin inst uh, instagram is already there uh, pickler and uh, email and maybe we have more than that so if i go to link to your my link to your account uh, i have to just run many tech um, like um, websites and i have provided those links right here so website and guru freelancer free for for hour whatever um like freelance marketplaces and insta uh, like different websites so uh we can add a lot but we have to go we, we have to like follow the template right um or we can customize that is we want as well so in the settings i'm gonna add that one experience we already created a model for that so education achievements is the level education location education degree have education is boolean pet animal is ineligible uh, then let's go to the uh, text stack is already done then about about is done then images image is gonna have the image itself image and url uh and this and this uh, one they have provided the images uh, right here they have provided images of the like the photography they have done but we can like provide images of the projects some some code snippets or something like that as well uh, with the url so like if you post something on twitter you can you can provide that here experience for the experience let's say uh, everyone like has somehow experience right and you uh, like if you create uh, some projects you, you get some experience so this is going to be must like provided and for the experience um, let's say a role this is going to be the role then uh, start and end it and then um, what are these properties Uh, I guess this is like the is this on remote or on stat and then we have the descriptions so what I'm gonna do I think we can add this to let's see let's say a role then start underscore that this is gonna be a string because um, like they have present and my like you can provide whatever type of data you want from it's going to be up to you and uh, then the end dash underscore that then let's see uh, the website like the company name you can see they have provided the URL so company and company underscore URL maybe if you like if I don't have company uh, URL uh, then we can make that uh, empty like let's make that nullable for that reason nullable and then company url again no uh, the the status status of the this is called status row now remote and on site these are like the job types right you are a, a remote job or on site job uh, maybe you can call it type or job type 
underscore type maybe we can make this enum so you can provide only two fields um, I guess it's like this so remote or on site like you know you were physically available over there or you did a remote job and after that we have the tasks so one project hand like one job like you were this uh, this person and like quality assurance engineer and you have multiple tasks you performed automation and manual testing and some description so either we can create let's see if I like created a separate uh, table for this how is how about that so manual testing experience tasks so let's create a table for that let's call it a uh, experience tasks task actually uh, singular and over there we're gonna define it so I guess this is gonna be fine like this is gonna be one to one to many relationship so one uh, experience and one like one experience or in one job you, you did may you, you did multiple tasks <laughs> maybe this is not a good way to like follow this so but uh, I'm gonna go with this way because I think this is the best way for this to fix so string uh, let's say title and descriptions and descriptions are multiple you can see so maybe we can do something about that as well so you can provide as many as you want I think that is it and now yeah so let's uh, add uh, the uh, other things in the setting model so uh, email maybe we can provide a phone number because these are nullable so we don't have to worry about that and then they have some peculiar uh, I think that's not required so okay so I think that is it for this video we're gonna move on and add them to payable and then we will configure the relationships and after that we are gonna go ahead and integrate the template and after that we're gonna uh, make the data dynamic so that is the whole story right here so thank you for watching and see you in the next one